Ladies and gentlemen, today's the day, and I'm going to be opening 50 of these new Golden Gift 22 crates in Rocket League. I had many comments on my videos. John's opened 40. You've only opened 25. How can you let this happen? You're the crate guy. Listen, listen, I've been preparing. I've been building. We always go up and up and up. Last episode, we peaked with a black market in the final crate. I'm not going to spoil as to which one it is, but you can go and check it out if you so desire. Today, like I said, we're going to open 50 Golden Gift crates, trade up everything, and hopefully get some more black markets as well. And then that will lend itself perfectly to a 100 golden gift opening after that. If you could please just do me the favor of dropping a like on the video as it is free. Subscribe down below as we are well on the way to 940,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for 933,000. Just going up and up and up on the road to 1 million, baby. Bro, Christmas is in a week. Christmas is a week today. That doesn't sit right with me. Doesn't feel like it. <laughs> Maybe it will do after we unlock some golden gifts. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. No rocket pass code in today's video. I think there'll be one in tomorrow's video and the blind trading video on the 21st. Here we go. Let's open these golden gifts. I'm going to keep the headphones on. It does spoil it as to whether or not there's a boost coming or not because you can kind of hear it. There's a Crimbus. Oh, the Christmas Nimbus. <laughs> the Crimbus. We've got the Thor decal as well. The Titanium White Reapers. Things you love to see. I'm thinking out of 50 crates, even though we got a black market in the first 25 video, that doesn't have any bearing as to whether or not you get a black market in these 50. So that's why it's technically possible I could get you know, 40 black markets in a row in this video. Very, very unlikely, but technically possible. We've got a titanium white clod hopper to go with the titanium white octane. So I'm hoping because like I said, the first video has no bearing on the luck in this video, even though some might lead themselves to believe that way. I'm hoping we get a black market in this video in the crates. And I think with 50 crates, we should have enough to do a black market trade up because we've had a few imports already. We just need a couple of exotics to get the ball rolling. And to my knowledge, you can trade up every item in the Golden Gift 22 series, unlike the Golden Pumpkin 22 series where the Ariga items are doomed to be in your inventory forever. So hopefully we get some good stuff. And I'm feeling good. I'm recording this on Friday. And I'm, am I uploading this at the time of the World Cup? I think the World Cup final would have just ended. If I'm not mistaken, this will go up Maybe on the 18th. I could be very wrong. A Titanium White Fennec Edge Burst. Does that mean we're going to get Titanium White Octane Obtruse right after? That would be unreal. Nope, we're not going to. Uh, so hopefully, by the time you're watching this video, Lionel Messi is lifting the World Cup. Hopefully. I don't think so. I think France will probably do it. But either way, I, I, hope, the, I hope the best for, for Messi. Because he's just... He's my GOAT. And he is the GOAT. He's the best football player of all time. Uh, but nevertheless, we're not here to talk about football so much. And the World Cup... I guess is over by the time this is watched unless it goes on really long and there's penalties but yeah it's over it's over uh we got an octane dragon lord always got a special place in my heart for the octane dragon lord it's funny i actually um when i open my photoshop one of my old save files that's there yo that's a dub that's actually sick playmaker as well i, l I love playmaker that's dope one of my favorite certifications actually partly because i love getting assists these days uh, but I open Photoshop and there's a clip of me like the, the thing, the picture that's there is me in the top right corner doing like a reaction from 2016. And that's obviously the Dragon Lord takes me immediately back to 2016. But we are so, so close. We are a couple of weeks away, a couple of weeks away from 2023. So I would love for you at this point to drop a comment down below. Let me know what your... I mean, if you've got any cool Christmas, New Year's Eve plans, I'd love to know. But what are your 2023 plans, goals, and ambitions? And you know what? What are your hopes for the for this channel, for the Pixel Army? You're, uh, you are just as involved in this as I am. And what do you think we should shoot for in 2023? The obvious elephant in the room is a painted exotic. Oh, it's a Draco as well. Would have been sick. Uh, the obvious one we're going, we were going for would be 1 million subscribers, which that's... It's, it's a tough one to get, I, but... I think if we keep going up the way we have in the last three months, I think we would get there in summertime or something like that because the channel's grown about 20... That was sick. Purple Striker Jaeger. About 20,000 subscribers in the last three months, right? So if we do that again and again and again, this is dubs! I'll take an Infinium. I'll take an Infinium as well. I think we're definitely going to get a black market for this video, so stick around and drop a like. But if we get 20,000 subscribers every three months, we will get the 60,000 we need to get to a million by september so that's i suppose that's got to be the goal right but you know in terms of content everything like that rocket league's gonna go into season 10 in march we're gonna have a season 10 it's mental to be talking about season 10 when we've just started season 9 and frosty fest but as soon as the first week of the new season is over i start to look forward and think oh my goodness what are we gonna get but also i saw something on tiktok i can't remember where it was or who did it but there was a rift on one of the rocket league maps like from fortnite and obviously 
Rocket League. We're getting so many exotics. This is sick. Another Draco. We'll trade it up. We're definitely getting a black market. Rocket League is owned by Epic Games now. And Epic Games, as you can see through Fortnite, they are known for their crazy storylines and everything else in the game. And of course, cosmetics. We love cosmetics. That's what we're doing in this video. And it just makes me think, where is Rocket League going to go next? Because the Fire and Ice sort of theme... I'm sure that will actually develop over the season. I don't think we're done yet because with the trailers, they have the fire dragon, the ice dragon. I feel like it just will develop even further. We're seeing some cool stuff in Rocket League. And I think maybe if there's going to be an absolute banger of a season in terms of anything, it's going to be season 10. And another thing for this season that I'm gassed about that I haven't been yet to experience are tournament openings and rewards. I do have a tournament reward opening coming up tomorrow as well as uh, basically a tournament highlights of a win that I got. My first win of season nine. So definitely check that out tomorrow, 6 p.m. on the channel. But we've got painted black markets to go for. Fire clap. Obviously one of the best black markets we've seen in a long, long time. And it's, it's just so sick. December for Rocket League always slaps. We've got gold and gift stuff to do. I'm looking forward. I think I'm going to be doing a crate war with Tri House very, very soon with these golden gifts. And obviously we've got to try and take the dub there. And obviously, again, another thing with Rocket League, they've announced that the Winter Major is going to San Diego in April. I'm not entirely sure as to whether or not I'm actually going for that. I might this time round, if I continue sort of with the YouTube content, smash it like that, what I might have to do is maybe miss the Winter Major, miss, miss the Spring Major, unless it's in Europe, I guess, and just go to the Worlds, just go to the World Championships and... It sucks because there's so many people in the community that I want to see, that I want to meet. That's a boost. And obviously you guys as well. I loved meeting you lot at Worlds, at London, Los Angeles. Just it genuinely just it warmed my heart and I cannot wait to do it again. But, you know, at the same time, we've got, a, you know, 2023, we've got big goals, big ambitions. We're going to be looking towards 1 million subscribers. I'm going to try and make more YouTube shorts because I think they're a great combination with long form content. I forgot we could get Reapers. That could be interesting for the trade-ups. Could get some Titanium White Reapers. Uh, and also, like I said, live streaming on YouTube. I basically have stopped live streaming on Twitch because, as you guys know, over the last couple of months, other than these crate openings where I'm waffling on for eternity and you want to see every crate and something's happening each and every second, I edit my videos a lot, lot more. That looks very sick. So with the gameplay and the tournaments and everything like that, even stuff like the blind trading, I edit them a lot more. And that takes a lot more of my time. So it means I have I basically sacrificed the live streaming to make better videos. And it's shown and it's returned the favor, basically, because you guys are supporting the videos more. We have more subscribers coming to the channel. We had 7,000 in the last month newly subscribed to the channel so thank you so much and if you are not subscribed because the majority of people watching this video still aren't subscribed and we're getting titanium white striker items for crying out loud please do subscribe down below um so essentially i'm not live streaming at the moment but i think going into 2023 much like when i used to do it going into 2017 we could live stream on youtube big events maybe cray openings and stuff like that as well and that, I'm sure, would help with the, the growth and the momen momentum of the channel. So uh, that's basically my kind of take on what I hope for 2023. It's just to continue enjoying Rocket League, which I'm so glad at the start of 2022, I changed my keybinds because it gave me a new challenge. It raised my ceiling and now it's made me better at the game. Ooh, Painted Ragins. Probably going to trade them up, but still. Um, so I'm glad I did that because it's rekindled my love for Rocket League. I still love it. And going into 2023, I, I plan to continue still loving it. And I hope to grow all the way to a million subscribers with you lot. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to go straight to the trading menu. Those 100s will be saved for another time. And let's see what we can get here. We're going to keep that one for now because it looks kind of cool. And just trade up what we can. Maybe, just maybe, if the Rocket League gods are looking down on us, not a picket wheel, we could get ourselves a painted reaper wheel that is another picket wheel i don't want that that's the obtruse there's that we're gonna go oh we'll keep that uh, that can go and then i suppose that can go and that can go yeah that's the last trade that we're gonna do octane cannon not bad no reapers this time round, but we move on we're definitely getting a black market like i said so be sure to stay tuned synthwave painted okay there was a little bit of lag there so that makes sense it's a regular reaper so we can trade that up bang sentinel orange Okay, nothing crazy there. Let's go again. Ripped comic. They can't even be painted. And then we've pretty much, if we had to... Yeah, we're going to leave that for now. So here we go. A chance. This is actually mental. A chance at a painted zomba. Here we go. Come on. Oh, it's an infinium. And I think it would have to be that, that, 
Uh, we can get rid of the orange ninja star for sure. The orange and lime sentinel. Okay, come on. Be big. Oh, it's a Gurnot wheel. That is not the one. But here we go. We've got a black market we can get. So we're going to go with Acrobat, you, you, you. And we'll keep the Lime Rage and we'll actually go with the Sniper Draco. So here it is. My second black market in the Golden Gift 22 series. Please drop a like, subscribe, and hope for the best. Yes. Oh, my goodness. We got a main frame. Oh, my goodness. That could have been painted. That could have been painted. 50% chance. It was a coin toss and we lost the coin toss. It could have been a painted mainframe. But I tell you what, a golden gift 22 mainframe is a dub. And for those of you watching this far into the video, I reckon I'm, I'm probably going to put a gold mainframe in the thumbnail. Because I tell you what was hilarious. In my recent very rare trade-up video, in the title it said you won't believe what happened because it was the worst very rare trade-up session ever. I put a black octane and a white fennec in the thumbnail and put a caption, not this, in the thumbnail. Basically referring to the title. And that video still had a 99% like rate. Actually, a little bit better than my other videos. So you guys that basically allow my bad word incoming shithousery uh, for thumbnails is hilarious. So I I'm so glad that you kind of allow me to do it because it's still a good video. It gets some new people in and you guys that understand the inside joke seem to really appreciate that anyway. And uh, just thought it was funny. I thought that was funny too. So I'll probably put a gold mainframe in the thumbnail to tie in with a golden gift uh, to basically wrap this video with a nice little bow. But it still leaves more to be desired. Painted exotics to get, painted black markets to get in the next video where I open crates and it will be 100 of them. So that is going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please do drop a like. Subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army. I have been Pixel. You have been awesome. And I'll see you in the next video very soon.